Hey, what's up? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Flash Rock Live. I'm Jazzy, and I'll be your host for this evening's show. Tonight, we have a killer band that's going to perform three songs, and then a little later on, we're going to have an interview to get to know them a little better. So sit back, relax, and don't touch that mouse, because here's Echo Cast.
Thank you very much. Real quick, we're called Echo Cast. We are from Hollywood, California. And uh, we're happy to be playing for you guys via internet. We've got a new CD coming out in a couple of months. This song's called Lines Are Blurred and it's off of that. out there in cyberspace please check us out on our myspace page myspace.com slash echocast you can also find us on our own uh, website it's echocastmusic.com and uh, hopefully a couple of you guys watching have our CD that's out right now it's titled where the future ends and uh, we got one more song for you and it's off of that record Get him! 
Again, we're called EchoCast. We're from Hollywood, California. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully we'll see you on the road.
Wednesdays being retarded. Hey guys, it's me. I'm back here with EchoCast, and they were amazing. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Um, Thank we're just going to start by getting to know the band. We'll start down here because we're going to start down there. So we'll start Adam, again. play guitar. I'm David, and I fling my hair around a lot. I'm Caleb, and I'm just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Keone, I bring the Lou in. And the ladies. <laughs> All right, so now that you know the band, here's their CD. Make sure you guys pick it up. It was really Indeed. great. Um, when I first picked this up, I thought it was really scary. Can you pretty explain it to me? Why don't you tell them about the cover? It's a um, Japanese eye surgery. It was me as a baby. <laughs> Picture of me as a baby, and then we're brothers. We're brothers. And uh, here's me, and then here's Adam on the back. Let's they were born blind. Right. <laughs> For now they shoot lasers. Well, I know you guys are on the road a lot, so why don't you guys talk about that? All right, well, the reason we wanted to do this show, we thought it would be really cool because um, we uh, are not on the road right now. Hi, dog. Puppy. If anyone heard, the dog was barking during our first song. But I'm sick and I was not about to sing anymore. I had three songs in me and that's it. <coughs> anyway. Um, yeah, that's why we wanted to do this for uh, all our friends out there that we've met over the past couple years of touring. Uh, we wanted a chance to be able to play for you guys, even though we weren't on the road this summer. So, here we are. Very nice, very nice. So, why don't you guys talk about some of the places that you guys have played at? Like, crazy venues or anything. <laughs> Minnesota. Mm, it was cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a nice little trek through the ice. Yeah. We had, uh, our, our heater core yeah. blew out, and uh, we were forced to cruise down the, the, the freeway and uh, with our windows down because of the, the toxic fumes <laughs> that were uh, enveloping our lungs. As we uh, our, were our going persons. through the Rockies. As, as, as no, 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 we it was, the Rockies. was in uh, Des Moines. Was Des Moines. It? Iowa. Oh. And, um, I, I was I driving roughly... in the sleeping bag. Completely yeah, we were in my sleeping bags. bag, zipped up to my neck. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make sure, like just praying that nothing would run out in front of us, because uh, I, I wasn't I, very agile. I roughly remember the exact temperature with with just a thermometer. Just can you can you factor in wind chill though? Four, 14 degrees. <laughs> then you got to factor in the wind chill due to the fact that the wind is blowing in our van and we're East. driving exactly six to five miles an hour, and. Uh, we froze. <laughs> so, so curious. Yeah, I was like... Mm. Yeah. Ke Keone is intelligent. Yeah. I, uh... The, the funny story about that, we were in a Home Depot parking lot in Louisiana where it was warm. Um, and glorious. And, uh... <laughs> I ended up bypassing the, uh... He fixed the van for about a dollar fifty. Yeah. yeah. Well, the cool thing is... And used my knife. We got a bunch of, <laughs> bunch of musicians who don't know anything about cars. So we're uh, in Louisiana, and this guy is like, let me explain it to you. This is what you need to do. I'm going to explain to who, what, when, where, and why of disconnecting your heater core. Now, you got your heater core, and there's a hose coming in here and a hose coming in here. Now, picture your guitar. You got a guitar, you got your cord going to your effects pedal, and then you got a cord coming out of the effects pedal to your amp. What happens if your effects pedal breaks? You, so, plug, you plug straight on into that amp. That's right. That's you plug you straight on in. So that's what we did. We took the effects pedal, heater core, out, and then we just plugged straight into the amp, so, yeah. if you will. It was lesson learned. Yeah. lesson learned. Now we are heater mechanics. Cores, unlike guitar <laughs> pedals. Yeah, Actually, they were sleeping. True. So All of that was it, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, you know, the bane of musicians. Yeah, but so anyway, early mornings. Anyone out there... <laughs> If you're on the road, bands, you know, what have you. <laughs> if it happens to you, you know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. In, invest in a, yeah, in a multi-tool and go to Home Depot. Indeed. And it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Uh, I think Adam <laughs> wanted to tell you about... Um, no, I... What? Okay. Yeah, he yeah. does. Let's do this. Adam has lots of stories, and they all in involve hitting things with our van. I, I managed to be the one that kills everything on the road. He is a murderer. Yeah, not, not humans. But so far, 
You did hit a lady in a white car. <laughs> she was in her car. She was in her car. She was hey, walking down hey, the street. that has yet to be proven in a court of law. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. I say the, she ran the light. We got the deer, the owl, the rat. That's our story. The we're owl. sticking to it. The yeah. owl was yeah. the most amazing roadkill, though. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. just flying. We're like, oh, look at was the I, I was driving. Yeah, that look one. at the majestic owl as it soars <laughs> next <laughs> to our van. We're driving like 75 because we're very late for our show. <laughs> look at that majestic owl. And it's going like, oh. Look at that, and it goes for no good reason. It just goes <laughs> off the side. We're like, oh! So it cracked our grill. The grill out there is cracked. And we there's have... a tuft of feathers in there for like three weeks on that tour. <laughs> a nice tuft of feathers. We took pictures. Is it still in there? No, no, it, it oh, okay. fell out eventually. But Adam's driving. I think mean, the deer was pretty good too. <laughs> so does he get across or? No, no, you, every, you didn't even no, see everyone's it. Everyone's asleep except for me. We're coming into Des Moines. <laughs> yeah, was up yeah we're, oh yeah, we're coming into Des Moines at like three in the morning. It's like it's snow everywhere. Then all of a sudden, the deer, that deer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, basically, I go, ah! and then slam on the brakes. And vans and trailers do not handle so well. No, and, uh, no. So yeah, on icy roads and oh, brakes. Just clipped his little back legs. <laughs> Bambi. And two days later, Bambi was Gorgeous. flipping around like Eddie Gordo from Tekken. Yeah. yeah. And then two days later, tell Tekken. him about the rabbit. Copyright. <laughs> nah, okay, that's, copyright that's enough infringement. roadkill, I think. No, no, one more. No, it was amazing. The rabbit. No, he no, hit a rabbit. rabbit. The rabbit and literally flipped underneath and then hit the trailer hitch, and then there was gore all down the side of our trailer, rabbit gore and rabbit fur. Yeah. And right then, we are playing an all-age show in Northern California. We'd done an all-night drive. We get there, there's gore on there, and there was, like, the high school was doing a uh, car wash. And they're like, oh, you guys are in the band that's playing across the street. Um, we're coming to the show, blah, blah, blah. We'll wash it for free. So we pull up, and, uh, and we have them come over, and they were actually washing the van while we are unloading the trailer. We unload into the venue, walk up the trailer, they go to wash the trailer, and this girl, like, 14 years old, comes up like, what is on their trailer? She was like scraping at it. Like the poor kids had to rabbit scrape rabbit the gore. Yeah, oh, the rabbit the gore. Blood. So. The, the most that cute amazing. little bunny rabbit was obliterated. The, the, yeah. the most amazing thing, though, is we were driving, and I, I woke up just for a second, just to hear, just... <laughs> I thought we blew a tire. And then all of a sudden it was gone, and I was like, what was that? He was like, I think I hit a rabbit. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, it was amazing. But really, we're all about the music. <laughs> I'm like, so if we see you guys on the road, we go the other way? Yeah. Pretty much? When Adam's driving. So, when Adam's uh, driving. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think that's good. I think we covered the roadkill. Most of them. We covered it. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them. The good ones. Yeah. yeah. The good ones. Oh, my God. Well, you guys are really amazing. Um, I tell... <laughs> I know. Save it. <laughs> oh wait, I have to hit this. Um, We're so this modest. This is the sexiest band I've ever interviewed. Wow. Somebody told me to say that. <laughs> I, <laughs> no. I don't know who it was. Mm. Um, yeah. I love the poster because I love skulls. Um, how did you guys get the name? That's one for you, buddy. All right, he and I were in a band for four years called Redline, and uh, at the time. Um, Best Buy started a distribution company, Redline Music or Redline Entertainment, and they sent us a nice letter saying, we know you own the copyrights to the name Redline, but uh, no one affiliated with us or any stores affiliated with us will ever uh, carry a band called Redline because we want the name. It's too confusing, right? That's what they say. No, they're just mean. <laughs> hey, so, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Best Buy is awesome, you guys. We love, yeah. We love, I love Best Buy. I love Best Buy. <laughs> Carry our CD. <laughs> so, please. But, um, yeah, so, so Echo Cast uh, means continuing vision, and it was just means basically that we, uh, we kept were, going. Kept going. It was the same band, we just changed the name, and we were, uh, but also, uh, I left out the part that Red Line is still technically signed to a record deal in Tennessee and we we broke up and changed the name and started a new band. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's out of the bag now. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, but those guys will never see this. They're so out of the loop. <laughs> no, no. Like, this internet. label... What? I'll go ahead and say this. This label, probably the, the president over there is, is like, what, what's, the, uh, what's the interweb? What is, what's this? I don't interweb. know about this interweb. <laughs> is that some kind of new spider? Flash? Rock? You can combine, you can combine flash and rocking. That's impossible. <laughs> that is impossible. No, they were out of the loop on anything. 
if, if it wasn't like southern gospel music, uh, they don't know about it. But somehow we ended up on that label for way too long. <laughs> All right. Well, besides MySpace, tell everybody where you can um, find your CD and your page to check you guys out. You can get our CD through Tower Records or a few other chain stores like that. But if you you're on the internet right now, you might as well go to EchoCastMusic.com and uh, order it from our online store because then we make the money instead of Lord Tower Tower. one of our old record labels. Yeah. We've been on a couple. We're happy to not be here right now. Right. <laughs> we'll check them out. And yeah, somebody <laughs> sign us, please. <laughs> please, I'll God. We need all of God. We're tired of eating at Chick-fil-A yeah. free with coupons. We need all of God. Chick-fil-A is amazing, by the way. Oh, yeah. Please endorse us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Some free coops we wouldn't mind. Coops. Coupons. I hate Chick-fil-A now, though. Well, easy. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Don't, don't Chick-fil-A burn Chick-fil-A and coops. I hate your guts. <laughs> Stop trying to ruin our coops. This guy's trying to burn bridges like crazy. I don't like coops. Chick-fil-A. Owner of Chick-fil-A is watching this, loving it until He's that not. point. <laughs> well, um, what um, shows are coming up for you guys that your fans can check out? Um, let's see. We're playing a couple, uh, a couple of uh, Southern California shows coming up. Um, in Riverside in three days. <laughs> Right? On the 26th of October. Yeah. Riverside. Today being October 23rd. The 23rd. Since in this is three, live. three nights later, live, October totally 26th, live. we're playing in Riverside, California with a band called Atrium at a club called The Vibe. And October 27th, the following evening, playing in Huntington Beach and at Dall- Gallagher's with a band called Ellsworth and a band called Stave Zaker. And then. Just a the, small band. Third night, Good bands. Good bands. the 28th, we're playing up north in Modesto, California, with his brother's band, Odds of Falling, from Fresno. They have amazing shirts. Mm. And <laughs> he designed one of their shirts. we got some modest guys in this room. I don't know. <laughs> and, um... Wait, Humble. Is on that. Humble. We That's don't know. Who, right. Well, it's a benefit Fighting show, Jacks. actually. It's a benefit show for some friends of ours in a band from San Jose called the Fighting Jacks. And, uh... Their van and trailer was recently stolen with all of their gear. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So they lost about $40,000 worth of stuff. So if anyone wants to donate to Fighting Jacks, go to our MySpace page, click on the Fighting Jacks Need Your Help banner. Give them all your money. Oh. Yeah, they're basically the best band ever. So basically, order the Echo Cast CD, and then with whatever money you have left, click on that link. Yes, indeed. Oh. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for showing up today and being really amazing. Um, we wish you the best of luck and I oh, hope you guys rock the shows. Right. Which thank you. Will. Thank you very much. That's it. Tune in for next time. Jazzy Flash Rock Live. Alright. All right. Yay. Yay. <laughs> sensation just took me to another realm. It wasn't here. It wasn't on this earth. I went somewhere else. And it was just total peace and joy and love.
Thank you very much. Real quick, we're called Echo Cast. We are from Hollywood, California. And uh, we're happy to be playing for you guys via internet. We've got a new CD coming out in a couple of months. This song's called Lines Are Blurred and it's off of that. What's up? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Flash Rock Live. I'm Jazzy, and I'll be your host for this evening's show. Tonight, we have a killer band that's going to perform three songs, and then a little later on, we're going to have an interview to get to know them a little better. So sit back, relax, and don't touch that mouse, because here's Echo Cast. <laughs> 